from sunny San Diego, g'day, I'm Troy Hazard, and we are getting down to business. Thanks for dropping by. If you haven't had a chance to drop by in the past, we're all about getting small business kickstarted here in North America. And each week, we get some smart people in to help us out. We get guys and girls that drop in with some tips and hints and things that might just help you drive your business into the future, maybe get you started in business, or just make you better at business. And along the way, I'll try a few things in myself because I've had 11 different small businesses over the last 20 years, and, and I'll give you my tips and hints as well. We are going to mess with your head. <laughs> <laughs> we're we're going to mess with your social media head for the next 45 minutes or so. That is what we're doing. Because that's what you've been doing for me for the last 18 months, so I think everyone should share the pain if I've got to deal with it, so have you. You should be able to tear an idea apart and rebuild it back, mm. right? And I, I mean, I'll give you one story. We, we do these live events around the country called Lucky Napkin Live, and at yeah. one of our events, we had a gentleman who came up to us, and he was in full regalia. I mean, full <laughs> Cub Scout, Boy Scout, uh, you know, an overgrown Boy Scout, basically, right? And he had the hat on. Matter of fact, he looked like one of your one of your guys, Crocodile Dundee, a little bit, I think, right? <laughs> Just, so he comes he comes there and he stands on line for a good forty five minutes. And the next thing you know, he steps up and he throws a lizard right on my shoulder. <laughs> what the heck what? is this? He's like, no, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> and all of a sudden, he pulls out this little whip or whatever it a was, a lizard whip, and he snatches the lizard off my shoulder. <laughs> I says, what the heck is that? He said, it's a lizard loot. <laughs> lizard loot. I'm going to sell millions of them. People all across <laughs> America are going to buy so many it. people with lizards on them that need to remove their lizard. Get their lizard <laughs> off, so to speak. And uh, I thought I was competing with this other crazy startup company that sold books. It's called Amazon.com. <laughs> I was trading some emails with this How'd guy, with Jeff that? Bezos. Uh, it, actually, it actually was doing very well. We had a little oh, really? bit of a following. And yeah. in the middle of that, uh, my brother-in-law called me in the middle of the night and he said, can you put Knowledge Cafe aside? I've got a billion dollar idea. The worst thing to do is to not respond to an IRS notice. Okay. Because the more, the more notices the IRS sends and the less you respond, you're in an adversarial position. The IRS does, feels ignored. Mm -hmm. And they don't like to Like anybody it. else, yes. really, isn't it? Yeah. It's like your wife, really, yeah. isn't it, Michael? You, gotta, you, you gotta don't respond. talk to her, you ignore her, then you're going to be in trouble, <laughs> aren't you? And it just manifests and gets worse. Yes. All of a sudden, you built a resentment. <laughs> <laughs> Tell us what the difference is between advertising and marketing, and more importantly, as you just pointed out, marketing strategy. Because most people just think it's a bunch of creative guys just uh, coming up with ideas. Well, for the most part, advertising is thought of as being inside of marketing. And when I met him, I wasn't impressed with the way Denzel looked. I said, Denzel is not the best looking guy in the world, yeah. but women love him. Huh. And I go, I'm actually better looking than him. I'm just <laughs> chubby. You know, however, he walks into the room like he is the best looking guy there. Right. He feels that. That's his stride. Mm -hmm. And some days I walk like that and some days I don't. Mm -hmm. You know, and if you can take that with you into the room every time, you'll work every time you went for an audition. When you started in the business, did you ever expect that you, the McDonald's would get to what it is today? Because it was, it was a relatively uh, emerging franchise operation when you joined way back when, wasn't it? Well, it certainly was. I was uh, very fortunate to uh, stumble across McDonald's because mm -hmm. when I started, it was the 18th McDonald's. Wow. Branding is kind of like the overarching thing that a firm like yours looks at before they decide whether a company needs to do PR or publicity or, or something else. Is that right. how it works? Yeah, because in the end, you want the whatever you're showcasing, a client, a brand, whatever it might be, you want it to be recognized instantaneously, whether that be a visual recognition yeah. or an audible, I know exactly who that is or what that is. Um, and I, I mentioned, I think before, Starbucks did an excellent job with this because for a long time they had the mermaid and then mm -hmm. had, they had Starbucks underneath. Mm -hmm. Now they don't have Starbucks underneath at all. I see people spend millions of dollars on architecture and fittings and marketing. And I go, take 1% of that, just mm. 1% mm. and use that to do effective training. How do you steer me on a path to make sure that I've got the right fit, that I'm with the right group, that I've got the right match for what I'm trying to achieve in my personal life? Well, I, you know, Troy, it's a great question. Uh, People come to us all the time, and they and they say, "Put me in a franchise where I can make the most money." <laughs> of course. <laughs> and uh, you know, and I, I would like to do that. That'd be a great business. That, that, that would be a great business <laughs> to get into. But the truth of the matter is, is that when you're looking for a, a business or a franchise, you need to find something that's going to be good for you and your family. I think I get it. I'm Troy Hassett. This is getting down to business. We're going to catch you next week.